answer some of your common health questions right now. Joining me, News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria, the chief of emergency medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. And today we're talking chicken pox. Angelina Jolie, an adult, diagnosed mm -hmm. with chicken pox recently, so kind of in the headlines, at least entertainment yeah. wise. Yeah. Uh, what do we know about that getting that today? Yeah, well, you know, chicken pox actually has become less and less. Uh, common. Matter of fact, you could probably remember everybody used to get it. And before the advent of the vaccine, for the most part, it was very, very easy to transmit from one person to the next. I mean, you cough, you sneeze, direct contact, and you would get it. So it was just used to being uh, out there, and it was prevalent uh, out there throughout the course of the year, sure. so everybody got it. But since 1995, when the vaccine came out, there has been a plummet of the number of cases that have been out there. Before, 4 million cases per year. Now, 90% decrease in that. Wow. So now it's almost becoming unusual or even rare to see chicken pox, even in the childhood population. And soon, you never know, if this keeps up, it may be like smallpox, where we wipe it off the face of the earth. Oh. So cross your fingers, it may not be that common. Usually you think of a child getting chicken pox, but if you don't get it as a child, and as we saw, I uh, mentioned the Joe Lee reference, if you don't get it as a child, can you get shingles as an adult? Right, so it's, it's you know, shingles is from the same virus, varicella zoster. And when you have an exposure to chicken pox, that virus never leaves your body. It stays within your body in the spinal nerve roots that run along the spinal cord. Now, one in five people later in life can have that virus expressed again in the form of shingles, but this time it's a little bit different. It's not all over your body. It's clustered in a certain area along that dermatome or where that nerve mm -hmm. follows. Still painful, red, blisters, but goes away over the course of about 10 days. So the answer to the question is, unless you've had exposure to chicken pox, you will not get shingles later in life. We don't know why in certain people, huh. why that 20% get it and why some don't. Just gets expressed, whether it be uh, secondary to immu uh, immunocompromised, mm -hmm. even sunlight fatigue can do it, but nonetheless, it only happens if you've had chicken pox in the past. Very interesting information. That's Dr. David Saria. You can send in your questions. Go to our website, WPTV.com. Click on the health link. Scroll down on the right-hand side.